doing a uh, Yabo. Um, I've won the giveaway from Mark from Pipes International. Um, I won't show you his uh, his information, but I'm about to um, unbox the package. Um, yeah, here in the Netherlands we have um, the package delivery service company that's called Post NL and they intercepted my package and held it for ransom for 26 51 cents so that was kind of nice well there we go you can see it's not been opened yet careful Really careful. That's a nice sticker. Yeah, I need to show it. Right off the bat, a sticker. Can you see it? Nice one. Yeah, that looks really nice. Custom tempers. Tobacco Pipes International. Wow, that's really nice. All right. Some of these uh, peanuts, they call it. All this peanuts. I don't have a trash bag here. No. Oh well. Let's carefully extract the main package. It's been packed very carefully. Yes. So. Quiet. Sorry. <laughs> it's just my neighbors. They are honking at the the cats. Oh, look at this. Nice little Duke, Dr. Crabo, with the blue. Uh, yeah, I don't know the English word uh, for nice little pipe, Dr. Crabo, a Duke. Oh well. A Lord David. Mm -hmm. 
really nice grain. It's it's a little bit of a, a sitter. It has a flat bottom. Does it sit really well? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes, yes. If you put it very carefully, it will sit. Nice grain, really. Wow. All right. Oh, another, another Dr. Crabo. A Regal. Regal. This one has a white. Regal. Uh, uh, at least it's a stamp, a white, white thing. Mm. I can't read the other side. Ooh, it's really, it really looks awesome. Nice color, nice grain, and a rounded um, outer rim. It looks like it's unsmoked. Oh my! And here we have airflow. It just looks almost brand new. Here I got a little dent in the in the bottom. So maybe it's been restored, but it's it's a great looking pipe. It looks like brand new. Okay, let's turn it one more time. So, oh, let's see. This is a little bit loose. Um, oh, gee. Imported Briar, Italy. All right. It really looks like it's almost brand new. Got a, a few, maybe it's dirt. No, it's grayish. Maybe it's from buffing. Really looks almost like new. Nice pipe. They're all nice pipes. I can't help it. They're all really nice pipes. I can't believe I I won. Ah. Oh. Yellow dot on the on the stem. I really need to put on my reading glasses when I'm doing these videos. But since this is my new sunglasses, Purex. L H 
as super fine super fine got all little platina scratches and little buffing stain yeah that's buffing compound and a few little scratches on the mouthpiece but that gives the pipe character I like this probably more than than a unused pipe because this has character original mouthpiece no stinger I believe no, no stinger wow it's it just a screw on voila perfect Whew. but there's more I really can't believe it I really can't believe it I've never ever won something Oh, this is another Dr. Crabo with an orange. I don't know how to call it, other than a stamp. An orange one this time. With a nice button. Oh, the crane on this is really looking uh, in, in, import I can't read it again but Westbrook hmm. wow running out, out of real estate here oh my this one got a liner and I believe it's a Meerschaum liner if I'm not mistaken and it's all carved Beautifully. This is carved like bark. What does it say? <coughs> Whitehall, mere shawl lined. You see, it's a mere shawl lined pipe made in Italy. And I love the, the, the white mouthpiece the white stem and it's flat never had one it smells like an old bookcase <laughs> but there's still more wow uh, why do I have to to move something around so one two three four five six seven eight there's still more look at this This one he talked about in his video when he showed the pipes. It got um, 
it's, it looks like fading of the fading of the stain or something or but it feels really smooth like it's been like this on purpose it really looks old with stained with patina or something maybe it's on purpose made this way because it it's, it looks like light lightly smoked or reamed out hundred percent but all the way looks like an old pipe really old I like it um, it says brownie 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 like it it's it's also little bit small with a long uh, longer mouthpiece uh, I'm sorry uh, this is great for when you are just exploring new tobaccos just want to taste it and you don't want to taste it in a whopper of a pipe like this always thought that this was the 305 Petersons but it's a 302 Petersons well I learned something and the last one got a little bit of a crack in the in the rim but not all the way through and it's not a big crack it's just a little tiny little tiny crack like it's somewhere in its life it's been dropped or something or it's a flaw in the briar I don't know on the mouthpiece it, there is a stem there is a stamp um, in the shape of a Y in a circle and there's there's a white dot but not in the middle that's weird let's see there's a lot of writing here on this side and got a few nicks and looks like a really old pipe and the funny thing is this this mouthpiece that here looks Gosh, really looks all original with the stamp and all. It's like um, a red marbled with uh, black through throughout the mouthpiece. Marbled black and red, black and red mouthpiece. Also again a small pipe with a reasonably long stem, a thin, thin shank, so you gotta be careful not to drop this. You don't want to drop any pipe, but I like it. 
Some pipes have patina, some pipes are unsmoked. Really like it. And it's unbelievable. I am I have won this from the giveaway from Mark. Wow. Tobacco Pipes International. Mark, this is unbelievable. The curse has lifted. Anyone can win. That's clear. And what a prize to win. Said, I'm very happy, very grateful for this awesome prize, really. Um, and it was just about helping someone. All, all Bob, all Bobs. He nearly lost his, um, you know, his house, and we all stepped to the plate. Really awesome. I feel kind of a little bad for the other guy that was too young for winning this prize, but you know. We can always send him something that's not a pipe or tobacco. Here I have my old Peterson's 302, as I learned yesterday. Oh, what a awesome prize! This doubles the, the amount of pipes that I own. Okay. Um, doing a little test for uh, for Lester to support Lester in his uh, research. Um, I put a little sheet of folded tin foil, uh, aluminium foil, in the bottom of this uh, casing um, to prevent it from evaporate too soon. And usually I'm, when I fill the Zippo, um, there's about three days, maybe four, and then all the, the Zippo fluids are gone. And now it's been, I don't know, almost a, a whole week, let's say six days. So it really, it's really working, the, the tin foil. Um, Gasket, gasket, gasket. Yeah, my, my English isn't really good, but you know what I mean. Old fashioned way.
so uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with uh, all ten pipes. For one thing, I want to share share the joy and give away at least one pipe. To someone that only has two estate pipes that are really really dirty he can't smoke them and he still can't afford a nice pipe a nice restored pipe or a nice new pipe pick one that I think really would suit him and make someone happy so oh my gosh it, uh, I I keep looking at those pipes. They're all, they're all really nice. And they're all buffed and shined up. This one got a little little bit of surface damage. But I can fix that. It's flaking off. I can fix that, no problem. Um, a Meerschaum lined pipe. I'm wondering if that's a really nice pipe for a beginning pipe smoker. Because when I began smoking a pipe, I burned a corn cob to a crisp. So Mark, really, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for lifting the curse <laughs> for this awesome prize. And that to think that I won this prize because I donated some a little bit of money to help all pops to help all pops and of course his wife and his lovely dog
and it really made me feel good to donate a little bit of money. It wasn't much. I really did, didn't do it for the giveaway uh, and I've forgotten all about the giveaway and then Mark sent me an email for my information, my address and uh, because I've won the the giveaway and I really I was scratching my head I didn't know what he, what he was talking about so I watched the video I was all occupied with busy, busy things you know that's life and I found out he was actually telling the truth. I have won the giveaway. Oh my gosh, 10 vibes. I can't almost, I almost can't believe it. Really, really nice. Really made my day, my whole week. So, I'm not gonna sit here 15 minutes smoking my pipe in front of the camera. I've already done that in my previous video. So this is going to going to uh, to be in the list of unboxing videos. I believe this is called Yabo. <laughs> it's an awesome prize from an awesome guy. Check out, please check out his channel if you haven't done already. Here is the sticker again. Tobacco Pipes International. Really nice channel. With that, I will enjoy my pipe. Probably go halfway to the bowl and then leave the rest for for this evening. Because this is not a dolce of smoking. I did I haven't said that already. So this, this is malt dolce. I let it air on this nice little plate for about just shy of 10 minutes so it didn't lose its taste and it stays lit I hope Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Thank you and wow. Beautiful pipes. And I'm gonna make someone really happy with at least one of these pipes. Okay all, have a great day. Nick Gobus. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!
are all ready to smoke. It's unbelievable. Really nice.